Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade and I am so excited because on today's video I am going to be giving you guys four different outfits for Valentine's Day that can all be thrifted. I'm so excited to show you guys that y'all can definitely get yourself something cute, something sexy, something simple, something casual, and you can get it all thrifted and you can make it look super cute for Valentine's Day. Now I am not huge into fashion. You will typically catch me in athletic wear and different forms of leggings, honestly. But I decided that because in the spirit of the holiday and all of my moms who are out there who are maybe trying to dress up a little bit or who maybe want to stay super casual but just want to do a little bit of something out of the ordinary for themselves, I wanted to give you guys four different looks that you could achieve for Valentine's Day that's not too out there, that's still super comfortable, super cute, and super affordable because that is what we are here for. We are here for a good deal and we are here for something fabulous so if you guys are interested in seeing my four thrifted looks then just keep on watching this video and if you're new here I hope that you would consider hitting the thumbs up button making sure that you hit that little subscribe button and the little tiny bell right next to it so that you don't miss any upcoming videos from me all right so as a mom who is not super fashion trendy I knew that I wanted to get a lot of Valentine's Day like classic feel so a lot of reds pinks and things like that so a good basic black is good for me and it is something that I live by so one of the reoccurring theme in all of these outfits which I loved was this basic black uh, little onesie long sleeve shirt here and I love this I got this from Shein for five dollars and I'll have it linked down below but it's just a basic long sleeve black bodysuit and I love it because this came out of my closet it was a super good way to add some neutrals into the outfits and just kind of like bring them alive if you know what I mean and so I just really love the fact that I got to shop from my own closet essentially and I just got to add pieces to this one basic piece to pull together an entire outfit so I'm so excited to show you guys my very first outfit and that was pairing this black long sleeve uh, bodysuit with this really cute red skirt now I love a good dress up skirt. I definitely feel like I love the midi length on skirts now because as a mom and as somebody who is over 30, I just really like to look well put together and when I'm wearing a skirt, I don't like anything to be like super high or super short. I just don't really feel comfortable like that. If you do, go for it, girlfriend. That's just like how I am. I love that this skirt was only $2.69. Now, I really loved the look on this outfit. I thought that it paired really nicely together. All I did was add the bodysuit and I added some black tights to go with it, which I thought looked really cute and I could definitely wear this with some pumps or just some basic black flats probably flats because that's just how I roll these days like you will probably never catch me in a pair of heels just being honest and I really loved this however it was a size extra large which is a little bit big for me but I just couldn't pass it up because I felt like it was tailored really nicely and I just felt like it was pretty good quality so for the price, I will take it just a little bit sized up. I could definitely get this tapered in, but for the sake of it already being Valentine's Day week and being so close, if I wanted to make this an outfit that I wore on Valentine's Day, I thought, hey, I'll just add a really cute belt to it to cinch the waist, and that really pulled it together for me. And this is actually just a black belt that I had in my closet. If I had something really cute and trendy, like a Gucci dupe belt or something like that, I would totally add this in there but I felt like adding a belt to cinch in at the waist just really made it a little bit more feminine it made it fit me better and I just really love the way that this outfit turned out the next outfit is also going to include a skirt but instead of the traditional red and pink colors for Valentine's Day I thought that I would forego that altogether and I really love bold colors especially in the fall and the winter so I went with a really bold mustard sweater 
And I got this sweater and I absolutely love it. It's just a cable stitched sweater and it's a St. John's Bay sweater. And I really loved it because it was a little oversized on me. So I thought that this was super cute. And I paired this with just a black fitted skirt and those same black tights that I had on from the first outfit. And I just really loved it. I thought that this was kind of non-traditional, but it would also be really good for if it's kind of cold outside on Valentine's, which here in Washington, it's super rainy and cold. So I felt like this would be something where I would look really put together, feel really cozy and comfortable, and still look really nice and put together. I thought that I could pair this with a bold red lip or something fun like that. And I just really love the way that this outfit looks and this sweater was $3.99 so I thought that you could not beat it. I love, love, love thrifting for sweaters because sweaters are such a huge expense if you buy them new and so I really love the idea that thrifting for sweaters you can save so much money and you can get something that's still in really good condition and look really cute so i am loving this outfit let me know down below guys if you are somebody who is going to forego the traditional red or pink colors in your outfits drop a comment down below and let me know what your favorite colors are to wear on valentine's day because i'm really curious i just felt like you know what we're gonna step out of the traditional red and pink for Valentine's Day and we're just gonna really dress it up. And who loves it that Valentine's Day falls on a Friday this year? I am loving it. Drop a comment down below and let me know that you are here for Valentine's Day being on a Friday this year because I am just so excited about it. Granted, we're gonna have our kids so we're probably going to do something nice on the inside of our house, but you know what? It's the thought that counts. We can have a family day. We could have a movie night. We could have a nice dinner in. I don't really know everything that we're going to be doing, but I am super excited that Valentine's Day falls on a weekend, which is nice. The next outfit that I have for you guys is something super basic for my mamas, which I absolutely live for this outfit. Like I said, I am totally all about that black outfit life. I love good black pieces. So I did wear that long sleeve black bodysuit and I paired this next outfit with a pair of black jeans and I got this beautiful fuchsia magenta cardigan now if you guys follow me on my instagram then you know that i am all about that cardigan life and when i saw this hanging on the racks i just said you know what i have to have it it's really a beautiful color it's nice and oversized it's got pockets which i live for and i just loved it so much i thought you know what i could do a super simple cozy casual valentine's day outfit and just really make this look really pretty and a statement a way that i would really dress this up would be to wear like a nice bold statement necklace with it or maybe a scarf or a fun handbag or something like that or maybe some fun printed shoes but i just love the way that this looks i love that i could dress it up with a pair of heels if i wanted to or i could dress it down more casual with some boots the options are literally endless with just a really bright fun cardigan and your basic outfits like jeans and a t-shirt you just could not go wrong and i really love the way that this outfit came out Okay, so my last outfit is super fun. I really love this a lot, and I did something that I never thought I'd be able to do at the thrift store. I found a pair of jeans, you guys. Yes, a pair of jeans that fit my booty right, that made me feel really nice and confident, and that's really hard for me because jeans are a hard pick. So when I saw these jeans on the rack, they were on sale for a really good price. Let me see. These jeans were $4, so you cannot beat it. A $4 pair of jeans, they're super cozy. Let me show you they're a little bit they're medium stone wash they've got the distressing at the knee and they're distressed at the ankles here which is nice these jeans are a little bit long on me so I did need to cuff them a little bit but uh, overall they fit so comfortable and I really liked them and I paired these jeans with that black top again and I actually found this red and black and white flannel which my husband really loves this we are a huge plaid family my husband loves like buffalo check and different plaids and when i saw this i instantly thought that we could kind of be matching because we kind of like that we are definitely a couple that loves to match 
<laughs> Let me know down below. Are you guys a couples that are into like the whole matching pictures and everything or are you totally against it? I'm curious because we really love like our whole family matching or like coordinating colors. So when I saw this flannel, it was in perfect condition and it's really nice and cozy. It's got that nice jersey soft material and I just felt like this held up really well. And I thought that I could wear this really casually by just tying it around my waist. I thought that that was super cute. I could pair it with like a beanie or something like that or I could even throw it on and maybe tie it or just wear it the classic basic way and I just thought that this outfit was super cute. It's super fun. It's very Valentine's Day themed obviously with the red and the black. I like that I could pair it with just a pair of jeans so I'm feeling really simple yet you know it's something out of the ordinary for me because like I said I don't typically wear jeans. I wear a lot of leggings and athletic pants so I was just really excited that I got into jeans here and I loved the way that this looked. All right, you guys, those are the four outfits that I have for you for Valentine's Day for thrifting. I spent a total of $17.62 on all of the outfits that I selected here, and I just think that for under 20 bucks, you cannot beat it. I've got four different outfits that I could choose from or a weekend full of outfits for different events or occasions or things that we're doing this weekend. And I just feel like it's such a good deal. I got such a good value for my dollar and I actually stepped out of my comfort zone, got some cute pieces, got myself into some pants. And I just really want to encourage you guys that you can definitely hit up your local thrift store. Don't feel like you have to drop major dollars on something glamorous. I know that when dealing with Valentine's Day, sometimes we feel like we really need to step it up but you really don't need to spend a lot of money to do that and I hope that by today's video you're encouraged to hit your local thrift store and find something really nice and festive for Valentine's Day so if you guys like this video please make sure that you give it a thumbs up please make sure that you hit that red subscribe button if you like what you see here and I will catch you guys in the next one bye